Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new here, my name is Dominique and I've been documenting my journey on YouTube for the last four years. Earlier this year, I shared that I began grad school, but as of last week, I completely changed my mind. I have been taking classes towards a master's in microbiology, but I finished this summer realizing that I don't wanna do it anymore. Like I wanna learn something else. I like Python, I like R, I like working with data sets. I want to get a deeper understanding of machine learning. So with all that in mind, I switched to a master's of data science last week. And I can be pretty indecisive, so if anything, I have seven years to finish that microbiology degree if I change my mind later. I was pretty intimidated by the math that comes with data science, but something just clicked for me this summer. And now I'm halfway through my first class and statistical modeling, which is basically about research methods, statistics, linear algebra stuff, logistic regression, just a bunch of math. <laughs> and it's really not that bad. So I'm starting to think that I can actually do this. And I think it will be better for me in the long run to challenge myself with new skills now. Um, and me doing a master's of data science, I guess I'm upskilling myself, but I'm not trying to escape healthcare. Like tech is not it <laughs> right now. I don't want the problems. But I do feel like over time, combining laboratory skills with data science skills would let me advance my career in a more fulfilling way in healthcare. And it's hard to articulate the vision here because I don't have it all figured out, but that's why it's the journey or whatever. <laughs> I guess one example of something cool that I did last year, I built a model where I used a huge data set of lab results from CBCs, year analysis, and CMPs to train a model to predict the chance of a patient developing chronic kidney disease. Like, how cool is that to know that I can use healthcare data, lab data, to help patients? Which obviously in the lab, I generate the lab data to help patients by reporting results. But I feel like I do the testing for so many chronically ill patients that there's just this feeling of I could be doing more to help people. And that's where data science comes in for me. We can use healthcare data and combine that with programming to create new insights for ways to help prevent illness in the community. And it's already being done in public health, so I know it's possible. <laughs> it's just finding the avenue. I don't know. Lately, I've been in a very negative mental space. I've reached a point of feeling like all I have to look forward to is work and paying bills for the next several decades. So I'm just stuck questioning like, is this it? Is this adulthood? Should I keep trying to aspire to do things or just let it all go? So I just kind of like fell in a rut this summer. I thought I already had my early life crisis, but I guess I'm having another one at 26. And I just feel like I'm grasping for just something to look forward to. I stress to you guys, I'm, I'm motivated to learn. So I do put myself out there at work to try and get projects to assist with stuff and learn new things, but I don't get the projects. I don't get to learn new things. I get benched. And so basically every lab, I end up feeling like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not doing enough and that I don't have room to grow. My thoughts have just been spiraling <laughs> with this. And I still don't have my career figured out even though I'm in grad school. The advice is to know what you want to do before you pursue the grad degree, but it's just not the case for me right now anymore. And the reality is because I changed my mind a lot. Like four years ago, I just wanted to work in a microbiology lab. Once I got into micro, I was feeling pretty good and wanted to become an infection preventionist, maybe work at CDC, maybe even teach in an MLS program once I had my master's and some years under my belt, obviously, but I have a chronic illness and it took me out of work for two weeks in May. And I've been spiraling ever since because it kind of made me reevaluate my long-term goals to make sure that I'm working jobs that are flexible for my health and my account was doctor appointments. And ironically, the hospitals are not the best place to be working when you are sick. Um, but that's another talk for another day. So we're not, I'm not even gonna go there today, but now I have absolutely no idea what I wanna do long-term. But I just know in order for me to get out of this slump, I'm trying to do the mental work to let go of the pressure I keep putting on myself to have my career all figured out. And I'm working to stop trying to plan every little thing so that I don't limit myself either. Recently, um, I've, did like a little deep dive on LinkedIn just to get a peek at other jobs and found that MLSs can actually work outside the hospital lab and not 
in leadership. Okay, obviously, reference labs, government labs, biopharma labs, all exist. I'm trying to say that there's MLSs working outside of the entire lab environment, but are still MLSs and still use skills gained from the lab, if that makes sense. Like there's opportunities in cell therapy, which that job actually deals with patients. And I honestly didn't know MLSs could have jobs directly with the patients like that without having to go back to be a provider or something. And there's also MLSs that work on the software for the analyzer companies. But anyway, I'm trying to be like them, <laughs> okay? So my mind changes all the time as I continue working in healthcare and experiencing just the highs and lows of the career. I'm being so honest when I say that I'm just another 20 something trying to figure out things out as I overshare with you guys. Part of me hates even complaining on my channel because people will then go in the comments and say that now they can't pursue MLS when they see one person venting. And I'm not here to persuade or discourage anybody from a job like that's <laughs> I'm just sharing my personal journey and I'm at a point where I'm truly just in a rut and trying to get out of it but still the medical lab field does actually provide good stable jobs like they do exist and I say that because I found the labs I'm just very flighty by nature and the littlest inconvenience or the slightest hint of boredom will send me straight to job boards and that's why now I'm on job three in three years I already know that I'm not the for life or med tech like i'm not built like them <laughs> i don't have it in me <laughs> to be honest <laughs> I, I know i'm ranting at this point but if you've listened this far and can relate like please comment <laughs> because sometimes when i'm at work i look around and i end up feeling like i'm the only one that is just going crazy in my head doing the same thing day in and day out and <laughs> I've talked to my coworkers about it because my coworkers are older than me. Every lab I've been to, I've been the youngest person. So my coworkers end up being older than me. And um, I talked to a few that are like in their 30s, mid to late 30s. And they said that eventually that this feeling goes away. Like it's just a phase and it'll go away. But I don't know, y'all. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I like my job overall. But healthcare is the perfect field for flighty people like me. Because there's so many jobs that even if I left this one I'm at right now, I at least don't feel like I couldn't get another job because the shortage has only gotten like slightly better <laughs> since the day I stepped into clinical rotations four years ago. But it's just like at some point the labs are not the problem. It's me. Like I'm the problem. So if anything, I hope that I can keep exploring jobs while in grad school. Um, maybe keep finding these little random opportunities that I didn't know about before. I think this is like the unpopular opinion, but I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with having a career full of variety and diversity in the jobs that you work. Like why limit yourself to just one job? Because at that point, it's not really a career. If there's no progression, it's not a career. And I think that's why I feel the way I do right now because I don't see how I will get to progress further in this career. So at least I think doing other things along the way that still kind of relate to the lab. Um, sounds like it would be more fulfilling to my own career life to give myself just that variety of jobs. Um, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I, I know I don't talk so much that I'm losing daylight at this point outside. That's why I keep looking outside because it's getting darker. Um, I have a journal club paper due today and a coding assignment that I wanted to complete, as well as like several lectures that I need to watch. So this was just a very chaotic talk and I think I'm done rambling. So I apologize if this video was a lot of just me being all over the place in my thoughts, but I think I just really needed to vent. <laughs> I will talk to y'all in the next video.